In one of my last videos, I did a comparison between the WLTP and any DC claimed range on the BYD Addo 3, and found that the average between the two is 360 kilometers. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been driving my car without charging it, starting from 100% just to see how well achievable that 360 kilometer is, but more importantly, to find out its true wheeled world range. My name is Ed, and welcome to Jews Garage. Guys, I have reached the milestone. Oh, no. We're at 1%, we are at 1% and I'm still getting full power. So to set the scene a little bit, I've been driving my car to and from work every single day for the past week. My commute to work is about 25 kilometers, so I average about 50 kilometers a day plus a few trips here and there. Although 100% of my commute is city driving, so it doesn't exceed 70 kilometers per hour. In fact, I'll say 40% of the time I'm stuck in stop-start traffic where electric cars are actually known to be quite efficient. So let's get to it. Good morning and welcome to day one of this experiment. So as you can see, currently it's 7.30 in the morning and the car is charged to 100% showing 480 kilometers of range. Um, for the purpose of this test, I'm also going to set the regenerative braking to standard and the driving mode to normal. And what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to set the trip A to zero. So then what we'll be able to do is to track the kilometers that we will have driven today um, and then compare that against the predicted range by the end of the day. And throughout the week, we can understand the discrepancy between predicted range as well as the actual real range. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to set this efficiency to zero. Um, so then you can also track my driving behavior and compare that whether I'm driving efficiently or not efficiently. So let's get going and we'll see how we go. I think it's important to note that the BYD Addo 3 doesn't actually use the previous driving behavior to spit out the predicted range. So then whenever the car is at 100%, it's just going to show 480 kilometers. What I've done actually is I've taken the predicted range at each 10% interval, so then I can compare those numbers against my different driving behaviors. In fact, I find it a little bit weird in the first 10 kilometers when I was driving, the percentage doesn't actually change and it stayed at 100%. I actually went and turned the car off and back on just to make sure that it was working. Interesting here, I've driven about six kilometers and it's still showing 100%, so I'm gonna turn it off turn it back on, make sure that it's still working. Yeah, we'll keep driving. So I've done a little bit of research and found that the cells within a batteries could have different state of charge and the reading is only taken from particular cells. In fact, a fellow Addo3 owner whose YouTube is also named Addo3 owner has done a really detailed and in-depth explanation on the battery management system as well as battery balancing on the Addo3. So I would highly recommend going to watch that video if you're interested, which I'll link down in the description below. So it looks like after day one of driving, the reading has averaged out a little bit. Day one completed. We've finished day one on 90% um, on the dot. So it looks like we've driven 54.2 kilometers and the claimed range is currently sitting at 436. So we add that, it looks like then the projected range would be 490 kilometers. Um, that means currently we actually have a positive 10 kilometer discrepancy. So um, I'm sure this will even out as we drive more and more throughout the week. And then um, as you can see today, um, just for the past 50 kilometers, we've driven 54.2, our uh, average efficiency is 12.7 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. I think it's pretty good. We've gained 10 kilometers apparently, so we'll see how we go throughout the week and I'll see you tomorrow. Day two completed. Today we've done 54.6 kilometers and it looks like we've used about 12% of range with the predicted range at the moment currently sitting at 375 kilometers. Um, so I think at the moment we're right on track actually, probably right on track at about 480 kilometers with the efficiency today being 12.2 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. So that's it for day two, and I'll see you tomorrow. Day three finished. We have done 64.0 kilometers today. Um, 299 kilometers left according to the predicted range. 
um, and 62% left. Um, oh, interesting. Today we have got a 13.5 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. Actually, I drove a little bit more today. I've got a couple of passengers in the car today. So that's probably why the efficiency has gone a bit higher. So yeah, excited for the rest of the week. As we drive more and more, we get closer and closer to the truth. We'll see you tomorrow. End of day four. So today we've done 73 kilometers um, with the efficiency of 13.4 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. 45% battery left with the projected range of 215 kilometers. So if we look at trip A, um, we can see that so far we've done 245 kilometers or 246. Um, so if we add that to the 215, we will get 460 kilometers. Um, so actually, so far we've lost about 20 kilometers. So there's a 20 kilometer discrepancy at the moment. Oh well, we'll um, carry on. We've still got halfway to go. And again, we're getting closer and closer to the results. Okay, um, I don't actually remember which day it is now, but we are currently, oh, today we've done 28 kilometers and our efficiency is 13.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers with 180 kilometers of range left at 38%. Again, if we have a look at our trip A, which is, so, so far we've done 274 kilometers. If we add that to the 180, that gives us around about 450 kilometers, which means we are actually um, a 30 kilometers discrepancy now. So yeah, quite interesting. We'll push on a couple more days to go and then we'll see whether we'll be able to reach 360 kilometers as we've claimed in our range standard video. Day six completed. Today we've done 48.6 kilometers with 119 kilometers of range left um, and 25% of the batteries left. Our efficiency today is 12.7 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. And once again, if we add trip A to the main uh, predicted range, we are looking at round about 440 kilometers. So there's actually a 40 kilometer discrepancy as we go. It's gonna be an exciting next couple of days as we get closer and closer to the true range. Good morning and welcome to day seven. I just wanted to show that we're starting off today with where we've left off yesterday, um, despite the cold weather. Just resetting trip B so we can keep track of our kilometers today. So off we go. We have just reached the milestone. We have got 360 kilometers here, as you can see. From our last video, I did a calculation based on the WLTP range as well as the NEDC, and we've landed on an average of 360 kilometers. So it looks like we've just hit that without any issues. We've got 13% of battery left with 64 kilometers. So um, I've got a feeling we should be reaching 380 kilometers quite easily without any issues. Um, and then I'm mindful that once it reaches 2%, it will go into limp mode. So what I wanted to see is how far you can drive on one charge quite comfortably without it going into limp mode or before it goes into limp mode. So we'll keep pushing on and we'll find out what that number is. All right, another quick update. I've just reached 10% and at 10% what happens is there's actually a little warning that pops up saying, please recharge. And then on the infotainment as well, you can see that um, it's telling me it's low charge. I can either go find an EV charger or I'll just ignore it. So obviously in this case, we're gonna ignore it. We've got 50 kilometers of range left. Um, so we're gonna keep pushing on and find out how far we can get. Two hours later we have done it we have just reached 400 kilometers and we've still got three percent left uh, with supposedly 16 kilometers of range remaining uh, which i very much doubt i think the car is going to go into lip mode in a couple of kilometers but i think it's safe to say that 400 kilometers is really the maximum that you can achieve in this car safely to be able to still drive it around 
and what I'd aim for is probably the 390 to 395 mark depending on the efficiency um, on that driving period. So I'm still going to drive it around just to see exactly how many kilometers that I can get when it reaches that 2% mark which is the limp mode where the car is going to limit you from driving any further. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so I'll set up my camera so I can show you this. But I'm currently sitting at 2%, which supposedly the car was going to go into a limp mode, meaning it's going to limit my power output and I won't be able to go at full speed. Um, but surprisingly, it didn't limit my power output. So I was able to still drive at full power where I needed. So I'm just gonna drive around. So what I'm gonna do now actually is, um, I'm actually gonna try and drive it to 1% and see if that will limit my power. See at the moment I can still go to 30, 32 kilowatt and I can still feel the acceleration. So it's not limiting my power in any way. Um, I didn't remember what it was going to limit it to, but um, I can say for a fact that it's definitely not limiting my kilowatt output because, oh no, we're at 1%. We are at 1% and I'm still getting full power. And supposedly I got six kilometers of range left. Wow. Okay. Okay. What should I do? Okay. Well, I'm at 406 kilom uh, 406 kilometers at the moment with 1% of battery left. What? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Power is limited now. Power is limited. I am limited to 11 kilowatts at the moment. I can't exceed 11 kilowatt or 10 kilowatt, but I can still go at around 50 kilometers per hour, which is safe because I'm on a flat road at the moment. So to be able to drive at 50 kilometers per hour, um, it's still relatively safe. So you're not really slowing down the traffic. But once you reach a hill, um, that's when you really feel the, the struggle because it's limiting you to 11 kilowatt. See, I've got a hill up here and I'm not able to accelerate any further than 10 kilowatt, so. Okay, I am back home now. We have done a total of 407 kilometers, or 407.6 kilometers, with 1% of battery left and five kilometers of range, supposedly. I think we take another 50% of this, we should be able to get another two and a half kilometers potentially. But um, like I said, I don't really want it to push it that far. It's very interesting to see that we were still able to go at full performance at 2%. Um, I was under the assumption that I'll be limited, but the limitation didn't come in until we reached 1%. Now I didn't stop there, I actually repeated the test in the most economical driving mode which is driving mode set to eco, regenerated braking set to high, as well as the sportiest mode which is driving mode set to sport and regenerated braking set to low. I've also documented the results in an Excel spreadsheet, so I'll leave a link to the Excel spreadsheet down in the description below if you wanted to see the difference between the different drive modes or you wanted to use my results and compare it against yours. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a like and while you're at it, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.